The book of the prophets, Jeremiah, chapter 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, and go down to the porter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the porter's house, and, behold, he wrote a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the porter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the porter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this porter? Say the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the porter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to pluck up, and pull down, and to destroy it, if that nation, against whom I have pronounced, turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to brood and plant, if it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now therefore go to speak to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. And they say, There is no hope, but we walk after our own devices, and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Therefore thus says the Lord, Ask ye now among the heathen, who has had such things? The virgin of Israel has done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon which comes from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold flowing water that come from another place be forsaken? Because my people has forgotten me. They have burnt incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate, and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished, and wag his head. I will scatter them as an east wind before the enemy, and I will shield them the back, and not the face, in the day of their calamity. Then say they, Come, and let us devise devices against Jeremiah, for the Lord shall not perish from the priest, nor the counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, and let us smite him with the tongue. And let us not give heed to any of his words. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them, and to turn away thy wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword, and let their wives be bereft of their children, and be widows, and let their men be put to death, let their young men be slain by the sword in battle, let a cry be heard from their houses, when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, for they have digged a pit to take me, and hid snares for my feet. Yet, Lord, 
Thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sins from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Build this with them in the time of thine anger.